Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone watching from home. It's time for an early start to the round of 16 here at the US World Cup 2023. We're kicking things off with the Philippines versus Romania. It's going to be a banger matchup between two very, very solid teams here in the second weekend of the tournament. My name is Dio, and I'm pleased to be on this match with my good friend, this one guy. Good morning. Hey, good morning, and yeah, welcome to round of 16. Do not adjust your calendars. It is indeed a day earlier than perhaps expected with the Friday match here. Um, but this is one of quite a few really, really solid round of 16 matchups we get the pleasure of watching this weekend. Um, there are so many good teams this year that uh, we got some really great, really early matches, and this is definitely one of them. Uh, very different routes to me, it feels, uh, for these two teams in their first round matches. Philippines looked, uh, frankly, just dominant last week um, in a 5-0 win, whereas Romania taken all the way to tiebreaker against Singapore, um, which I, you know, a little bit something to do with getting top eight seed for Philippines versus not getting a top eight seed for Romania. You just get those slightly easier early round matches. Um, but Romania had to show a lot more grit and poise, making it all the way to a tiebreaker and closing it out by a bare minimum. I think it was like 20K. Um, so things looked a little easier for Philippines in their first round. We'll see if that holds on true to uh, round 16, but this is a much more difficult matchup for them. Yeah, this is definitely much more difficult for both of these teams, in fact. Um, as you said, Romania with a tiebreaker win against Singapore, but they did have some pretty good scores in uh, that tiebreaker win. Um, so I do think this matchup should be somewhat close between these two teams. That said, uh, the dominance from the Philippines, as you touched on, was kind of ridiculous in their 5-0 round of 32 match. Just to put it into perspective, um, the United States top scored two matches last week, or two maps last week. South Korea top scored two maps last week. Poland top scored two maps last week. The Philippines top scored three in their 5-0 win. This was... was five, I, sorry, it was 5-1. I apologize. My bad. Or 5-1. Yeah. Um, so this was, despite going 5-1, the team with the single most top score maps uh, in the entire round last week. So very, very strong performance from the Philippines on the maps that they did win last week against Mexico. So I'm looking forward to seeing whether they continue that kind of dominance here in the round of 16. We've got a very different sort of map pool. Last week, for example, uh, we had high BPM, awkward aim, Nomad one. This weekend we have Mold, which is <laughs> low BPM, very stream aim focused, still a little awkward. Last week we had Speed, Nomad two. This week we've got Tech Stream, Nomad two. Um, last week we had Tech, Nomad four. This week we have low AR reading overlap stack, Nomad four. Uh, and of course, there's no low AR, high circle size free mod uh, because of that in this week's pool. So very different sort of map pool this week. And I'm curious as to how the teams will adjust to these changes and whether that'll favor one of these teams over the other to touch on that. Let's kind of talk about the skill sets for both of these teams, because I think uh, I think it's interesting in the Romania versus Philippines matchup to talk about the impact that Badu usually has versus the impact he might have in a match like this when you have players like Enri on the side of the Philippines who can really match that low AR reading prowess. Yeah, I think Romania in this matchup really can't lean into Badu at all, um, which is an interesting facet of their kind of evolved or evolution, I should say, as a team over time. Um, they've gotten very good at mechanics and they've gotten more comfortable with picking into mechanics. Last week they played all three DTs, um, they played the speedy free mod, or the, well, they played the, uh, speedy nomad, did they play the speedy nomad? They did not play the speedy nomad. Um, but they did play all three DTs, so there was a lot of tapping and a lot of kind of mechanics focus, um, which is obviously stuff that Badu isn't going to be in for. Um, and yeah, like you said, the, the presence of Enri really warps that a little bit because he is that great low AR player. And honestly, one of the best players in this entire tournament, which kind of just changes how teams want to pick and ban a little bit, possibly uh, to avoid that one particular player. I think the, the thing is to me that the Philippines are arguably just a somewhat higher skill cap on the whole. Um, based on their scores, especially last week, they had a little bit more of the early round consistency, but they also bring some more of that late round skill cap with a player like Enri on the roster. Um, and I think this pool is a lot harder than last week. It feels to me that there's it's taking quite a leap in difficulty. And so uh, if they can find you know those those little 
skill cap increase picks. Um, those might be really favorable options to uh, to pick into if you're the Philippines. And I think that increase in difficulty is usually a good thing when you go from a round where zero teams get eliminated to a round where eight teams get eliminated, right? You want to make sure that those eliminated teams are uh, given the best chance possible to uh, fight for themselves on a more difficult pool. So I think... Uh, you know, making sure that the quote-unquote right teams advance in the round of 16 and beyond becomes more and more important. So those more difficult pools are welcome here. We do have a couple bands coming out. DT2 banned out by Romania. DT1 banned out by the Philippines. You take a look at the places where Romania had really good scores last weekend and in the qualifiers. Uh, they actually had a higher team score on DT1 in qualifiers than the Philippines did. Uh, and Romania had the number three score on DT1 in qualifiers overall, if memory serves. I'm just going to double check. Um, but I believe they had the number three score overall yes. on yeah. that map. So, yep, there we go, right below Italy. Um, yeah. So, and uh, last weekend in round of 32, they both played the map. Philippines had a higher score. doesn't really matter because this DT1 is far more similar to the DT1 from qualifiers. Um, and then similarly for DT2, you have lots of really, really good speed players on the side of Philippines, as opposed to Romania has a, a usually a better team for stuff like your stereotypical Nomad 2 stream map, right? Um, and now we get into one of these hard rock picks. Philippines top scored both hard rock maps last weekend in the round of 32. I don't think it's super surprising to see them first pick into the hard rock pool here against Romania. Yeah, you have some good precision players, some good hard rock players on the side of Romania. But when you're coming off the back of a two-way top score on both hard rocks from the round of 32, uh, I think leaning into that skill set once again is probably the right choice. Yeah, they double. They excuse me. They triple F seed both hard rocks last week, um, en route to 3.9 and 3.8 million scores on them respectively. Uh, so definitely a first pick that makes a lot of sense here. Um, this is a quite flow aim heavy, small circle size pick that we're going to get into. Um, and of oh, note, you're going to want to be watching out. I know the names are all about the same. But you're going to want to watch out mostly for 2045, 43, and 44. Uh, those are Henry, Nathan Ram, and the actual Hyok himself. Um, so those are probably the three most notable of the Hyoks on the Hyok roster here. Uh, 47, which is Zone Louise filling in as the fourth member on this pick. Eternum Roli, Lucrece, and Badu in for Romania. First map, first pick Philippines. Solid first pick Philippines, despite the early couple of breaks. Uh, Enri and Lucrece are going to trade, as well as Roli following up. And uh, the actual Hiyaki himself as well. So early on breaks, a little nerves maybe from this early weekend match here for some of these players. You see breaks happening a lot. Yeah, this map's also just hard. I mean, you see these types of really high spacing cut streams on CS 6.5. This is a really difficult pick. We see Hyok up in the top right corner also missing now. So it's just Hyok in the bottom right holding onto the full combo for the full Hyok roster. Hyok in the top right also missing here now for the Philippines. Uh, and there's no full combos left for Romania. Everyone having reset on this team. So yeah, the dominance from Hard Rock last weekend carrying over for all of these Hyoks on the side of the Philippines as uh, Hyok continuing to full combo this map as the only one left alive and we'll know it after the break. Oh, that's a tragic no, miss aim on the end of the triple there for Hyok though. Uh, he's going to fall. Hyok is also going to miss there, uh, but you still have some good supporting combo on both Hyoks at, at the top of the screen. Uh, Lucrece and Badu only a little bit ahead in terms of the combo there versus a 467,000 score difference in favor of the Philippines. It reminds me of that uh, Jeopardy meme clip where, everybody, where everything is just Jeff. <laughs> Except everything instead is Hyok. Um, but yeah, I, so, I so, refuse to use the numbers. If they all want to yeah. be Hyok, they're all going to be Hyok. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I, I can I can appreciate that. Uh, nice combos here from Lucrece and Badu. By the way, we must say um, if they find break, if they had found breaks from Hyok, that could have been comebackable at some point. But unfortunately, the map's just too short to allow for that to happen. Um, so despite the good ending combos coming in for a couple members of Romania, the Hyok squad once again dominant on a, another hard rock pick. Five twelve K to their favor on their first selection of the match. Hyok, 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 and Hyok, um, all posting solid scores. Couple of two misses, three miss, and a four miss. Um, pretty well done to them. Unfortunately, rolling down at that 12 miss, not having the greatest time 
Could have been a different situation if someone from Romania or two someones had had a little bit of a better occasion on that pick, but uh, just wasn't meant to be. Another good hard rock for Philippines takes them to the 1-0 lead. And we get the instant free mod three pick for Romania right after that. It's going to be Nomen Break by Shimao, the category remix mapped by Fergus. This is a custom tournament map, but it's not a custom for OWC. This was originally in Badly Wood Cup, if memory serves. Um, low circle size, low approach rate, free mod speed pick here. Low circle size for the hard rock to be a little bit more accessible on the map. Lower approach mate to make hitting a little more difficult on the map. Usually with speed maps you see higher approach rate like AR 9.7 and so hidden is just kind of free low for most players, <laughs> putting it bluntly. Um, not the case on this map. There is some of that object density to contend with. And you know, we were talking about this before, Romania has gotten a lot better at these sorts of mechanics, but I am a little surprised to see them pick into speed versus the Philippines. Um, when Romania, for example, just banned out double time two in this very same match. So I am definitely a little surprised to see that Philippines outscoring them uh, with both scores on DT2 in the qualifiers um, and having a pretty, actually not playing the speed in uh, round of 32. So no points of comparison there, but I, I do think this is a little interesting to see them pick into this. Um, I'm wondering if maybe it's more so the burst focus in this map that they're trying to lean into, because uh, DT2 is very finger control focused this weekend. So um, maybe trying to ban out something that they're uncomfortable with in the speed pool and lean into something else that they're maybe a bit more comfortable with. Yeah, I, I could see this in terms of skill set being maybe just a little bit more accessible. It's all about just kind of the raw burst stem and like the stamina to play those raw bursts for almost four minutes. This is a very long speed pick. I might I might add like three minutes and forty seconds for uh, the Nomad Five replacement is pretty lengthy. So perhaps that skill set a little more comfortable for them than the raw finger control. But I feel like just like you do, I I am a little bit confused by this particular pick. Um, when you ban a DT2, you don't expect necessarily to uh, immediately see that same team picking a, another speed map. But um, Romania, you know, must have confidence in it. You've got Roly coming in for uh, a speedy pick. Um, Brazé, who is one of their newer players last year. Um, Lucrece in the tournament, I think you're going to see him for everything. They played everything last week, so just good skill set coverage. But uh, this is the type of map that I think Hiok can FC. Hiok can also put up a good score, and I think Hiok can put up a, a solid performance as well. I don't know if they'll get fourth player syndrome at all with Hiok coming in as the filler, um, but we're going to find out because here we go into it. Um, this is going to tell us a lot, I think, about this Romania team. If they can ban DT2 first pick 3 mod 3 and win it uh, with a, with some good scores, they'll be feeling a little better about some of these other mechanics picks going forward. But if Hiak, 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 and Hiak can put up the scores that they're capable of, this is definitely break pointable for the Philippines. Yeah, notably you have Lucrece and Eternum both on the no mod here for Romania. So this is the strategy, I think, of putting your best players on the no mod for Romania and just looking for that two-way FC. Uh, Lucrece and Eternum, like you said, kind of the Parma Lobby players for Romania a little bit. Uh, you're going to see them in on the vast majority of maps, and speed is something they're both pretty comfortable with. So um, not too surprising to see them on the Nomad, though I could have definitely seen, uh, for example, they turn them on the Hard Rock for something like this. I think leaving Lucrece on the Nomad is a pretty solid cho choice here. Roly with a very early break at the start of the map on the Hard Rock. Uh, and everybody else holding on to the full combos right now. This is a seven-way FC lobby at the moment, about a third of the way through the map, so still quite a ways to go. Uh, but balancing on what is most of a knife's edge right now, about 30k lead for the Philippines with the four-way Hyok full combo going on for them. And just 50 combo missing on Roly from Romania. Pretty comparable act for both of these squads as well. A little bit lower act for the modded players on Romania. And this map is very consistent in difficulty. It doesn't really get any harder or easier throughout the pick. If you've played Fergus speed maps before, especially on great core songs, you know why that is. The song very repetitive, the map very constant in intensity, and none of these players are letting up <laughs> whatsoever right now. It's just the act difference for the mod players and the early, early combo break for Roly making the entirety of this 80k score difference for the Philippines. 
Yeah, you know, we talk a lot about how speed picks are, generally speaking, pretty binary. Either you can play them or you can't, and if you're capable of playing them, um, you're going to get good scores on them pretty reliably because it's all about a skill set that does not have a whole ton of variability in it. Like, if you're able to tap stuff, you're able to tap stuff. Um, at, at this level, for a lot of higher-end players, this is just gonna feel fairly comfortable. It's only 240, quote-unquote, only 240 BPM. Like, for speed, that's not that fast. Um, and as you said, it just continues to be the accuracy and that early, early break from Roly because it's 98 and 97 for the mod players on Romania versus 99 and 99 on the Hyok and Hyok mod combo for the Philippines. But that's a big break from Hyok on Hard Rock. That's going to be huge because we just have enough of the map left that it should be able to come back, but they need all four members of Romania to hold on. It's 130k. But oh, we turn him trades. Down. It turn him traded. And it turn him trades it. And that means uh, that comeback is almost impossible now. There goes Roly as well. This is going to be a break point. Um, a really good score from Hioc on Hidden, and a couple of solid backing FCs as well from the Hioc's on Nomad. As there goes Lucrece as well. That uh, consistency just not quite able to hold through to the end. And Hioc, 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 and Hioc will be taking a break point here. We questioned this pick, and it seems it was for good reason. Yeah, it, it's. It's a very good team score from Romania. I think this kind of team score is going to be near the top of the leaderboard, um, but this is four teams that can play speed. Uh, certainly one of the easier maps in the round. Um, and Philippines with the three-way full combo and one two miss 800K choke uh, from Hyok up in the top right there, looking very, very solid on this pick overall. Um, and unfortunately for Romania, that speed ban into speed pick not working out and so you're probably going to see philippines uh, maybe abuse that later on pick into the double time three in this pool for example um and now it's gonna be tough for romania to finish out the rest of this match with a win the philippines just has to win their own picks they don't even have to win any more break points um, and it's going to be tough for Romania to take one of those break points against a team that was as strong as the Philippines in qualifiers in the round of 32. From here, there's still the second hard rock left up, or I guess the first hard rock in this case. But no, it's just going to be the instant okay. DT3. They, we just beat them on speed. Let's do it again <laughs> with Presse by Yamamoto Mineko. Uh, this is a custom map by Shirelia for the Osworld Cup round of 16. So thanks to them for the custom. This is very similar in map composition to what we just saw, but like 30 BPM higher, basically. You're, you're playing the same map, a little higher approach rate, 30 BPM up. And about as different a song as you could possibly imagine <laughs> yeah. as well, with the uh, kind of the Yamamoto Mineko kind of light vocals going on here um, after a Katagiri remix. That is uh, a big change in terms of music, but yeah, just a faster version of Free Mod 3, as you said. It is still it's full of quints and triples. It's all about the tapping. Um, notably, if it, possibly worth noting at least, is smaller circle size and of course the higher approach rate. Um, this is CS 4.2, so slightly smaller than average circles, um, and air 10.07, so you know a little bit more comfortable to read. Shouldn't be challenging anybody since that's so close to air 10, which anybody in this lobby is going to be fine with. Um, it's not like you're seeing 10.3, 10.5 on this, um, but it does make it easier to read in that regard. Nobody seemed to have any reading problems on the last pick, so I doubt they would have had them here anyway. But, yeah, if, when you're Philippines, you, you look that solid, you look that consistent on the speedy tapping pick in the free mod pool. It does make a lot of sense to me to go straight into the speedy tapping pick remaining in the double time pool. Romania, obviously more than capable of putting up good scores on this type of map that, as you said, the 3.4 mil from last map will likely be a pretty high up in the eventual score ranking at the end of the week. But Philippines just that little bit better. They've got the consistency and uh, obviously the skill ceiling that you need to play a map like this and do quite well on it. Yeah, and the question is just, you know, can Romania find the high roll on a map like this, get a three-way or four-way full combo, and hope for another one of those chokes to come out from the Philippines? Because I think if you can get a scoreline like that again for Romania, or if you can ever so slightly beat the scoreline you just put up on the Fremont 3, it's definitely possible for them to take this point. Um, and this map is 
probably one of the more volatile picks left in the pool because of that, right? A pick where either team can realistically win it is usually not something you pick into early, which is why I think we were surprised at the DT three pick here and the free mod three pick from Romania earlier on, right? Like Romania didn't pick free mod three because they're bad at it. They picked it because they're good at it. Uh, it's just that the Philippines was also quite solid on the map. And so they unfortunately ended up losing it. So um, looking forward to seeing how both these teams do on a pick where clearly both of these teams are very, very good at the sort of map. Unfortunately, some early breaks for both Hoplub and Roly on the side of Romania. Hyok coming in for the first time this matchup alongside Hyok as well. Hyok and Hawk still in from the previous maps. And there is a traded miss from Hyok in the bottom left there. Uh, but Lucrece and Eternum is still the only full combos for Romania. Now another break from Hoplub to come through. And this is looking very, very good for Philippines early on with multiple resets coming out of Romania and still... Oh, actually, another trade there from Hyok. So two-way full combo to two-way full combo. Unfortunately, more and more resets to come through for Romania as Roly also finding the break there. Yeah, this one definitely uh, proven to be a little more volatile. The slight aim addition compared to free mod 3 causing players some difficulty. Those notes stacked on the end of sliders. You're seeing people breaking on those as well. Halpleb is straight up not having a good time. That is a lot of misses to all the way down. What? I'm not sure actually what's going on. It, it, it almost feels like he has the wrong keybinds or something from the way that some of these bursts are going. That's really unfortunate to see down to 91 act. Uh, that score nearly irrelevant at this point as it falls farther and farther behind. Fortunately, Lucrece and Eternum oh. were still holding on to keep this score dip in tech, but not anymore as Eternum breaks a couple of times. Uh, Lucrece, the consistency player on Romania, the Perma Lobby, is doing everything he can, but unfortunately, you have an FC still on Hiok to match and uh, backing combos on Hiok and Hiok as well, and that's going to be Philippines just taking a humongous lead here halfway through. Yeah, very luckily for Romania, there was the trade from Hiok in the top right, right as Eternum broke for Romania, so it's not entirely over, but as you said, Halpleb just straight up not having a good time over there on the side of Romania, and so it pretty much all falls on Lucrece, Roly, and Eternum to hold their combos as well as possible here. There is another break from Hyok in the bottom left for the side of Philippines, and so now you've actually got about even combo for both of these teams. If we see a reset on the full combo, uh, full, I almost said combo, the full <laughs> combo for Hyok, <laughs> for the side of the, I'm just saying Hyok. The Hyambo? The full Hyambo. Uh, if we see a reset on the full Hyambo there for the Philippines, maybe we can see Romania take this pick, but it's 500k, man. There is so little time left. And the accuracy for Romania, I don't think, is going to be high enough looking at Roly and the crease in particular uh, in order to bring that type of score lead back. And there goes Hyok and Roly there. And Eternum as well. It's just Lucrece standing alone for Romania at the end of the pick. And it is the Hyok's United uh, rallying around that one full combo for the original Hyok down in the bottom right. Very, very well done from the Philippines, winning that pick by 650k, and we said that kind of map would be volatile. Didn't expect that many trades between these two teams. Only two full combos between both squads for this DT3, but it does come out the way we expected it to initially with the Philippines on top. Yeah, definitely expected uh, somewhat higher scores from uh, from a couple different players, but uh, Hiok and Hiok both missing right at that 875-ish combo mark, uh, right at a just past halfway through. That's going to cap the scores out, and you saw what happened there, 680k, 634k. Um, but, you know, it does feel like Romania kind of got fourth played a little bit if they had a score you know, similar to the rest of the averages in the lobby from Howlpleb, that result ends up being quite a bit closer. It's still Romania winning, but it's uh, a lot closer than almost 700k. Um, unfortunately, did not have a good time, and the rest of Philippines just uh, did what they needed to do to bring up the solid backing scores for the FC, as mentioned from Hiok. And uh, now Romania definitely in a spot of bother here. 3-0 down just like that. The consolidated break point to come through for Philippines. And you look through the map pool and, well, there's not any tapping or speed remaining, so we've got that going for us. There's technically the, the kind of flow aspects of Nomad 2, but other than that, um, it is going to be a change in venue for the next pick, whatever it ends up being. Uh, it's a very interesting, though, decision time for them to sort of try to figure out maybe where they want to go. The only map of the three in common um, that they played last week that Romania won 
was the hidden two, which is basically hidden one. Um, but we're gonna go free mod one, so we're gonna go swing rhythm with the Osu original song in this pool um, from Toro Maru. Very cool, very interesting, unique sort of song mapped by Kali Cube, who of course known for somewhat awkward aim picks um, thrown together usually with a little bit of weird tapping. And this map definitely delivers on both of those. Yeah, this is, I feel like, going to be a really interesting pick between these two teams. Um, Romania, a very, very good alt squad with players like Badu being able to put up very, very good scores on maps like this pretty consistently. Um, for example, in qualifiers, Badu double S the Nomad 3 on run 2 for Romania and got a 99.73 ACK full combo on run 1. So maps like this are kind of his playground. And you're going to expect him to come in and hopefully do pretty well for the side of Romania as soon as we get Hyok out of the last slot there for the blue team. Uh, but Philippines is also a team that has a lot of really good gimmick players looking at uh, the first three Hyoks in particular. And of course the Phil player of uh, Hyok coming in for the first time this match actually for this free mod 3. Um, so I'm excited to see how they'll do on a map like this. And even though we talk about Romania having a really good alt team, unfortunately, despite Badu having the full combo both times on both of their scores in qualifiers, uh, Philippines was ahead of them on both of their scores with a better team score both times, um, especially coming out of Hyok, Hyok, and Hyok, who are all in for this map. So. Definitely looking forward to seeing the overall team consistency from them come through again and really hoping that some of the members of Romania can step up to match what Badu is capable of on this map. Yeah, one thing to note as well regarding the Badu situation um, is Badu actually, I believe, bottom scored Nomad 3 last week and they still won it against Singapore. Um, so they are a, cap a team that has become capable of actually carrying Badu on some of these picks rather than vice versa the way it's felt so many times in the past. So, you know, maybe a little bit of confidence boost from that performance last week. Obviously, that was on a no mod rather than on a free mod. Um, but, you know, the skill set still relatively in common. So uh, in we're going to go here. It's going to be Rose on Hidden, Eternum on Hard Rock, Badu and Lucrece on the no mods. Uh, meanwhile, you have Hiok on the Hidden, Hiok on the Hard Rock. And of course, Hiok and Hiok thusly on the Nomad with an early trade miss from Rose on the Hidden and Hiok on Nomad. In we're gonna go, and this one could be fun. I'm very interested to see how this map plays out. Obviously, we haven't seen any of these picked yet with this being the first match of the round, but this is one of the maps that could uh, result in some very cool outcomes. Also, a very cool map. You don't see a lot of swing rhythm in particular in tournaments because it is very hard to search for maps like this. Um, rhythms end up being a different BPM than what you would usually end up searching for, in this case closer to uh, like 190 or 210 sometimes in this map. So a lot of different types of rhythms. Unfortunately, not going well for Romania with those different rhythms catching off some of their players. Lucrece finding the drop there. And now Badu also dropping for Romania. This is kind of disastrous early on as now you only have Rezae and Eternum, the modded players on recovery combos versus the three-way FC intact for the first three Hyaks on the lineup. And the very last Hyak on the lineup and not having the best time, sure, but still matching the score coming out of Lucrece right now from Romania. Hyok 2045 will find the drop there, but there's still two other full combos for Hyok and Hyok on this roster. Uh, and Eternum and Raze do still have those supporting combos. And actually now with these multiple breaks coming through for both of the other Hyoks, uh, these supporting combos for Romania are going to start to claw this lead back, but there goes Eternum on one of those high-scoring plays for Romania. The Hard Rock player not matching the trade on the side of the Philippines, oh, and there goes everyone for Romania. Me. That's going to be the map. That four-way wipe on the 1-6 stream pattern in this map will completely kill the team score for Romania. Yeah, that just ended the map right there. I remember seeing this map and being a little concerned at what that stream might do to people because it's the only stream in the entire thing. And it kind of, I don't want to say it comes out of nowhere, but it is a little bit of a surprise. I mean, obviously you're hoping not to be sight reading, but still it can catch you out. 
um, and you know, a couple players on the Romania side obviously not known for their stream ability. Meanwhile, Hiok and Hiok holding on to those FCs, one Nomad, one Hard Rock, and the solid recovery combo, it probably would have been enough regardless of those breaks from Romania if the Philippines had held the combos the way they did. Um, but that just accelerated the process, and it's going to make this team score look pretty one-sided at nearly 700k. It'll go over 700k by the time all is said and done. And uh, the volatility of this map pool is really biting Romania, unfortunately, just not getting the results that they would have needed on these picks. And that's two break points down. That's 4-0 Philippines. That's four match points the rest of the way. Uh, you know, you like the Romania squad, you like what they're capable of doing, but Philippines just flexing their muscle in this matchup. Now winning three somewhat similar picks and then going and winning something completely different, equally comfortably to take the four to zero lead. Yeah, from the hard rock to at the start, right? Picking into the mod that they double top scored last weekend into both of these picks for Romania, whether it's speed or gimmick on this type of swing rhythm, aim control, finger control hybrid, uh, or their own speed pick after wiping Romania on the free mod three. Uh, it's been complete dominance from the Philippines this entire match. And now they're going to go with no mod four, low approach rate reading. You don't normally pick this into Romania, but when you have players like Hyok on the team, uh, Hyok and Hyok, actually, two of them, I think it's a pretty solid overall pick for the Philippines. And this is a map that notably is very easy to learn um, for a couple of reasons. A, a lot of the patterns repeat themselves. And so if you learn it once, you can play it five times in the same run of the map rather than playing it once in the same map, for example. Um, and it's only a minute and 40 seconds. So it's relatively short. There's only so much to learn in a map that is this short. Um, and yeah, you're going to see the same three docks we've seen for most of these picks come back in 2043, 2044, and 2045. Uh, alongside 2050 staying in, it looks like, from the previous pick. Um, but you, Raze, Lucrece, Eternum in for Romania. I think kind of the expected roster once again. I'm praying for two points for Romania for my pickums, but uh, <laughs> it's... It's definitely going to be a tough run for Romania from here if they want to win this sort of match. As you said, they're going to be down match point four picks in a row, and they have to win all of them in a row. It's reverse sweep entirely to win the match. So looking pretty grim for Romania, but we'll see what they can do on this Nomad 4 up against the Philippines. Yeah, it's a very tough uh, situation to be in if you're Romania. A couple early traded breaks from Kiok and Eternum. To start things off uh, with a bit of a bang there. But as you said, this is a, I don't want to say repetitive type of map. It's it, they're, The patterns, you know, kind of change where they are on the screen and such, but it is a very similar style of play the entire way through and a very short map as well. So the learning aspect definitely there. Um, unfortunately, Kiok not having a good time. Eternum with another break, but there's another break from Kiok traded by Lucris. And now it is Kiok on the FC. Um, trying to match Rosé and Badu. Unfortunately, the backing combo from Hiok not quite up to the FC, so that lead uh, potentially going to stay intact for Romania. Many breaks. Hiok, Hiok, Eternum, and Lucrece all breaking. So it is Hiok on the FC, now breaking as Ooh. well. It is one combo left for Philippines, still two FCs left for Romania. This is looking quite good for Romania to try to put a point on the board at long last. Yeah, and, you know, we talked about maybe Philippines is able to match Romania on this low approach rate with... Uh, the three foremost yawks on the team, but it's not looking that way. No FCs left for any of them. Multiple resets during that section for basically the whole Philippines roster. Um, it's just 2043 and 2044 holding on at the moment versus, oh, only Badu now. Raze finding the miss there, but that's a 700k score line for Raze, and it's a 300k score lead for Romania with just a sliver of map left. Badu still on this full combo, as he does, as we've come to expect of him in tournament he is uh, one of the foremost specialist players in the world showing off once again what he's capable of for this romanian roster in the host world cup yep that is badu doing badu things um and man there's some tragic scores in this lobby uh obviously i think it's a, a little bit lower od so not super surprising to see like really good accuracy but when you look at hiok with 0 100 0 53 misses um, Hiok with one 100, 157 misses. It just looks really unfortunate. 
Um, but the team team gap really across the board, I mean, 265K doesn't sound like a whole lot, but that really, once those breaks started coming in, was never in doubt. And so that is the point to get on the board that Romania really wanted and needed. Um, I, you know, you can second guess the pick all you want. I think it's, I think it seemed fine for Philippines. Just didn't have their best run on it. If uh, Hiok had FC'd, that might have been uh, a whole different scenario because it would have been Philippines winning it. But unfortunately, it did not happen. It gets one of those great points back. It gives Romania their own pick to come here. Do they think about going into something like the Hidden 2 now that they've won a low AR pick? It's CS4 AR8. Um, or they go, no, they're going to go Hard Rock 1. It is Coffins, the classic Neil Perry slider tech. Uh, the collab with LCFC. This is a, uh, a pretty OG pick from quite a few years ago. You used to see this in tournaments all the time. With the uh, added wrinkle of being in the Hard Rock, we'll just make things a little bit more difficult. Yeah, I would say that here, here's the funny thing right philippines top scored both heart rocks in the round of 32 sure but they didn't have the best performance on hard rock overall in the qualifiers uh they soundly beat both of romania's scores on hard rock one with both of their own in the qualifiers um but they were soundly beaten by both of romania's scores on the hard rock two in qualifiers so Yes, in round of 32, they were completely dominant, but it's by no means something that they automatically win versus Romania. So I don't mind a pick like this, especially when it's more tech focused, right? You look at the Hard Rock picks last weekend. Um, Silent Room Nelv had a pretty high overall average team score, um, and the other Hard Rock was really basic aim consistency with some streams so looking at something like this looking at the players on the side of Romania you know all of these players are very capable on tech maps generally speaking and this is of course a little bit more difficult a little bit more demanding than something like Nell was last weekend especially because you have this lower circle size right when a map is CS 6.5 like it was last weekend for Nell you don't get as much wiggle room, you don't get as much difficulty specifically from the tech elements of the map. So looking towards Romania to make good on their tech prowess on something like this, given that Philippines had honestly a pretty bad team score on the Nomad 4 last weekend. Yeah, that Nomad 4 from Philippines definitely did not look great. They dropped one FC, but some relatively poor scores otherwise. So perhaps tech not their preferred type of skill set to play. Romania, of course, Badu very well known as a tech player, but the whole team, excuse me, the whole team that they've put together for this particular map pick, I think more than comfortable with selections like this, Eternum, Lucrece, and Roly, all going to have a pretty okay time, I think. So I, I would, again, you know, for, for no particular reason, I think it would be cool to see Romania winning this pick. No particular reason at all, of course. Um... <laughs> Uh, this is going to be contested again with how well Philippines have been playing in general, but I do I can get behind this selection from Romania, especially with some experience on the roster that's played this map and seen this map in tournaments before. And uh, in we go into the first kind of drop section here. You'll see this the slider aim coming into play. We'll find out quickly how comfortable everyone is, and unfortunately, it's going to be Lucrece Romania, the first to drop, while Philippines holds on to the four way through that first little tricky section. Yeah, there goes the Turnum as well. He also finds the drop for Romania, so now it's two to four in terms of full combos. Make that two to three, Hyok dropping for the Philippines. So it's not entirely disastrous for Romania, but there goes Roly as well. It's just Badu left standing alone against the three-way full combo from the Philippines. Hyok, Hyok, and Hyok all still holding strong there and far better accuracy for two of those Hyoks than for Badu holding onto the 98 flat versus 99, almost 99. And uh, 97 from the third Yawk, but it is still the full combo, and that's all that really matters right now. Three of them making it through that first drop is huge because you get this free combo section afterwards. This map is decidedly divided into three easy sections and two hard sections. Hard sections in between the easy sections, and if you make it through one of them, you get that free combo afterwards. So this is huge for Philippines, just completely extending the score lead by far more than it usually would be just based off the hard section alone. 
Yeah, they're gonna feel very comfortable now. It's a 440k lead and continuing to grow through this middle third. We've got roughly a third of the way through. It would require Philippines to completely four-way reset going into this next difficult section. It would require Romania to hold for basically the rest of the map. The odds are getting ever slimmer of any sort of comeback happening on this pick for Romania because in we go to the next slider tech drop section and we see Philippines just continuing to hold on. The three-way co full combo still intact and Hiok backing up well after the earlier break. For their part, Romania is doing what they can here, but it just doesn't matter when you're against a triple FC and a solid backing score as well. It's looking like possibly an FC from Badu, but with another break from Lucrece, it is traded by Hiok, but it almost doesn't matter at this point. It's 700k plus. There goes a Turnum. Oh. And that's going to be about all she wrote here. We're going to be seeing Philippines taking a 5-1 to one victory in this match once this one is all said and done. Badu drops to add insult to injury, and he leaves the lobby instantly after the map is over, after not getting the FC and having perhaps not the best day for Romania. But it is Philippines continuing to fire on all cylinders. They did well in the qualifiers. They did well in the round of 32. And they did well here again in the round of 16 with a pretty clean 5-1 to one victory. Backing up their 5-1 to one victory last week. They look rock solid heading onward as our first team to enter the quarterfinals on the winner's side. Very solid match overall from, honestly, both of these teams. Uh, Romania playing with only six during that match and still managing to put up a point, make some of them pretty close against the Philippines roster, uh, which is, of course, seeded fifth out of the qualifiers, right? This is a team that you expect to make it at least two quarterfinals in winner's bracket uh, without dropping a match. And 5-1-5-1 five, one, five, one in their first two matches is a pretty good indicator of that overall strength. Really, really solid performance from the original Hyok in this match, playing all six maps and top scoring three of them for the whole lobby. Um, same for, I believe that is Enri and Nathan Ram playing six and five maps respectively, both top scoring a map. Really, really solid overall runs from all of them. Obviously, you have to shout out uh, Lucrece Padu, Raze, and Eternum from the side of Romania. Uh, all of them playing very, very well. And of course, the rest of the Philippines roster filling in very, very well for those carry players on the maps where they needed uh, a little bit of that extra assistance. Really well done from the Philippines. And congratulations to them making it into the quarterfinals and a guaranteed top 12 finish for the Philippines this year. Yeah, and they are not going to be satisfied with only getting top 12. With the roster they've put together and the skill level that they have on this team, this Philippines roster definitely has their sights set very high um, for this year's iteration of OWC. So very excited to see how they continue to perform. And uh, now Romania becomes a ticking time bomb down there in the loser's bracket because they are going to be, I think, out for blood with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder um, against anyone that they face in losers because I think they're going to want to prove that this match uh, could have gone differently if they'd had their full roster and if they'd been on their absolute best day. Uh, so definitely look out uh, for them to try to make a deep loser's run. But uh, as we do look at the schedule, that is, of course, the only match for today, uh, the rare Friday um, Oast World Cup match. You don't see too many of these happening. So we're not going to be back until tomorrow, 19 hours from now. It's going to be 10 UTC first match. Losers round one will be Thailand versus New Zealand. And then continuing on through tomorrow and Sunday for those losers round one. And of course, round of 16 matches. Very excited for a lot of these. I think there's going to be a lot of good action coming up this weekend. There's always great matchups this round and this week, this year, it uh, does seem to be even better. Um, so very, very excited for what we're going to get to see over the next couple days. Yeah, uh, Germany versus Canada round of 16, right? Elephant in the room is going to yep. be uh, a really exciting match between uh, two of historically the top teams in the Oast World Cup overall. Like you said, though, we're going to be back about a day from now, 19 hours with Thailand versus New Zealand. So that is it for us from now. Congratulations again to the Philippines on their win here in the round of 16. Good luck to Romania in the loser's bracket of the remaining stages of the OS World Cup. Thank you all for watching at home. Thank you to this one guy for casting. And of course, to our operator behind the scenes and referee behind the scenes. That is it from us here at the Oz World Cup. We'll see you back here in 19 hours for Thailand versus New Zealand.
shit Took your advice and did the opposite Just being young and stupid oh, I haven't been all that you could have hoped for But if you'd held on a little longer You'd have had more reasons to be proud